If you're around my age, then you grew up in the 70s and 80s. There were many TV shows that I finally remember and still watch to this day. Columbo, Quincy, The Odd Couple, and Sanford and Son are just to name a few. But those of you who follow my channel or know me personally are very familiar with my all-time favorite television show. Today's subject is going to be an interesting one. If you do follow my channel, then you'd know that I have a love of ocean liners as well as sailing vessels and other seafaring craft. As a lifelong resident having been born and raised in New England, I am mostly familiar with the North Atlantic and the vessels that travel it. From the Mayflower to the RMS Olympic, there are many historic vessels that I have featured on my channel. However, today I would like to show you a ship that served a large part of her life in the Pacific Ocean. Yes, she is a liner and is very beautiful, and at one time she was stationed or her home port was out of New York. You may actually know her by sight and not even realize it. The way the ship gained her fame was actually through a television show that ran for 10 seasons. From 1978 to 1988, fans turned on each week to see the Pacific Princess. That show was called The Love Boat. She would be captained by Captain Meryl Steubing, played by Gavin McLeod. The ship's crew would host new guests each week to embark on a new cruise adventure. Many stars would appear on the show and it would be very popular. However, this video is not going to be about the show, sorry. I'm going to focus on what I perceive to be the star of the show the ship herself, the Pacific Princess. This iconic ship would travel under four names, the Sea Venture, the Pacific Princess, the Pacific, and finally the Asif. Now she may or may not be as popular or as recognizable as the RMS Titanic, but she is responsible for increasing the cruise ship industry's business. Here are just a few little tidbits that I read online about this ship. The Sea Venture would be built and launched on May 9, 1970. She was built by the Nord Sea Work Shipbuilding Company in Emden, West Germany. At a cost of approximately $25 million, she was built for the flagship cruises company. The Sea Venture would be christened and delivered to the flagship cruises company on May 14th of 1971. She would weigh 19,903 gross tons. The ship would be 550 feet 4 inches long, with a draft of 24 feet 3 inches. She would be propelled by two propellers. The Sea Venture would be powered by four Fiat C420 10 SS engines that would produce a combined 13,240 kilowatts. This produced enough power to move the ship with a top speed of around 21 knots. When launched, the ship could accommodate up to 626 passengers. She would carry passengers from New York to Bermuda as a cruise ship. The flagship cruises company would own the ship from 1971 to 1975. In April of 1975, the flagship cruises would sell the ship to the Princess Cruises Company. She would also be renamed the Pacific Princess. It is worth noting that the Sea Venture's sister ship, the Island Venture, was also sold to the Pacific Princess Cruises Company at the same time. The Princess Cruises Company had agreed to have their new ship featured on a television show titled The Love Boat. Incidentally, the title of the show was a common advertising inducement by the Princess Cruise Company. Originally airing in 1976 as a made-for-television movie, The Love Boat had enough popularity to create a television series. So on September 23rd of 1977, The Love Boat premiered with Season 1, Episode 1, titled The Captain and the Lady, One If By Land, and centerfold. In fact, the Pacific Princess was the primary ship featured in the series, however, her sister ship, the Island Princess, was also used. 
The series' last episode would air on February 27th of 1987 and was titled, Who Killed Maxwell Thorne? The Pacific Princess would serve the Princess Cruise Company until 2002. After an upgrade, Princess Cruises would sell the ship to the Pullman or Cruise Company. They would rechristen the ship as the Pacific. The newly updated ship was now 20,636 gross tons. Her eight decks could now accommodate up to 750 passengers as well as 350 crew members. The Pacific would operate as a cruise ship in the southern warm waters of the Caribbean. The ownership would again change in 2008 when Quail Cruises would acquire the ship. Sadly, a monetary dispute and neglect would lead to her demise. She would be renamed the ASIF after she would be sold for scrap. After spending a lengthy amount of time in Genoa, Italy, she would finally be scrapped in Turkey in the summer of 2013 and completely dismantled by 2014. She was immortalized on film and even featured a playset inspired by the show, which was made by Migo. I, for one, would have loved to have seen or been able to get a model kit of this iconic cruise ship. The ship would literally go on to touch the lives of millions of people, whether in person, on a cruise, seeing her docked, or seeing her on television. She may be gone now, but she still is touching people's lives to this day, as the love boat is still in syndication. I am able to watch it on Amazon. If you're curious about the ship or the show, then I suggest you check it out. This is a quick little video, and I just wanted to show you guys this incredible ship. I thank you so much for watching. Till my next video, take care, and I'll talk to you soon.